Oh, wow. Lost to everybody? Wow. All right. Are you on the team? Is Emery Cook on the team? Do you know him? Yes. <laughs> Perfect. Senior. Figures. I've had Emory to come to class. He's in my class now. Uh, okay. Anything else? Anything good happen? Hey, Dr. Payne, for registration, when it says your primary, does that mean it's you? Is, is this what I no, is this what I asked? Uh, for me, uh, whatever it shows, it doesn't matter because um, we won't know until we get closer to the semester. So um, if you are registering for SOMS next semester, don't. It's going to say Keller or Brown for pretty much everybody, um, depending on availability. Like, I'll teach, but I don't know which sections, which sections yet. Um, if you like me, that's great. That's flattering. I like you guys, too. I would tell you to take it from somebody else. Just go get a different perspective. Okay? Um, doesn't matter to me. All the instructors are great. If you want to take it from me, that's fine. Um, but I would encourage you to look at other instructors. Um, and I don't know. Even if it says my name, that's just a default from last semester doesn't mean I'll necessarily have that section again. Um, it also depends on how many seniors sign up for 482, because that impacts it as well. Yeah. Um, it's not what I asked at all, but thanks. Just give me a hard time. OK, um, how are we doing? Uh, what's a bulldozer? Huh? OK, yeah, good. What else? Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, because there's a couple, right? Because we get to um, we get to volcanoes here, which is overly angry. But yeah, bulldozers are overly aggressive. Um, what happens in the book? What's one of the examples? And does that matter? Is that what you say in your other classes? This is why education is all your guys' fault. <laughs> if I gave you tests, you would only memorize it for then, and then you would brain dump it, right? Yep. That's so. Why do you do that? Yeah. Yeah, she was the principal, I think, right? She was in charge. And she kept saying, "No, I'm fine. It's my team that needs to be fixed." Yeah. And the whole team would stay on her. So Stone like, bails everybody out. Yeah, she's like, "I'm good. I know what I want to do. Help them." Yeah, I don't have time for this nonsense. What happens to that? She got fired. <laughs> Everyone leaves, uh, and she ultimately gets relieved of her position, right? Okay. Um, who identifies as a bulldozer? Anybody? <laughs> really? <laughs> it's the quiet ones, man. It's the quiet ones. It's the silent assassins. Why? What do you do? Okay. Uh, openly, openly honest. You notice how everyone like tries to justify their their constraints. I'm overly honest. Wouldn't that just be honest? Well, I mean, I just don't care. I, I okay. Don't care about your feelings. I say something because you said. I'm okay. Okay. All right. I'll take it. Wes, similar. Yeah. Okay. Hate when what people? Like when people try to like sugarcoat things because I feel like you're just you're not getting something. Okay. It takes longer to explain something when you try to sugarcoat it. Okay, so you want you want Kendall to tell you about your cancer, right? Not Alicia. Sure. Were you here last week? No. Oh, uh, way to go. So if you don't like someone, you don't give a shit. What do you mean both? Like, if you like them, you don't give a shit. If, if they like prove that like they're just not worth like hearing about, then. Okay, so you give them the benefit of the doubt at least. Oh, if that makes sense. <laughs> so you give people the benefit of the doubt until the, until you yeah. don't. Until they show that like they're not worth being here. Yeah. Okay. Does everyone deserve respect? No, now, I will give it to you personally. This is how I operate. People say everyone deserves respect. Yeah, I'll give it to you until you lose it. All right? I will give you the benefit of the doubt. Um, I will give you respect until you lose it. And then it's really hard to get it back. Really hard. Okay? 
Austin, same thing? Uh, yeah, I guess being a little too blunt. Okay. Uh, sometimes I don't really do a good job of uh, considering how other people feel or think. Uh-huh. So, a little more cautious to people you don't know as well. Yeah. Okay. Trying to feel them out. Okay. I'll take it. Anyone else? The bulldozers? Put your phone up, Chance. Every time. Uh, okay. What's wrong with them? No, sh not you. We're going to tell you. Okay. You're going to be honest with yourself? Well, I'm kind of a jerk. Okay. What's wrong with them? What are we going to do? On the spectrum, I love it. And he's right. All of these have a spectrum. I will take it. Some, uh, some of you have some of these, right? You see the constraint, and you're like, oh, I do that sometimes, or I have a little bit. Okay, continue. And so, like, like Wes was saying, like, sometimes you don't need people to sugarcoat it to you, but also at the same time, you know, if someone's like, you wouldn't want Alicia as a doctor if you don't want someone saying, like, yeah, your grandma's got, like, three days, you know? So, like, there's a way to approach Well, she laughs in their face. <laughs> Situation, so sometimes you need to be told, like, look, you're, you're not good at this. Right, is it always bad? Do we no. need them sometimes? Yes. Yes. Go tell him that guy's fired. Go tell him, right? Okay, we don't like the guy screwed up. Mike is fired. Okay, he's been a jerk, he's a punk, he's out. We don't care now. If we're firing James because uh, cutbacks, he's got a family, right? And we know it sucks, there's nothing to do about it. Do we want Gabriel to go tell him he's fired? No, huh? <laughs> No, you just said you can't. No, I said you can't. Okay, well, and that's a choice, so why? Uh, because I just I don't like it. I don't want someone to misinterpret what I'm saying. Okay, I'll take it. What's the constraint? What's the problem? What's the fault with that? No, he has no idea. This is amazing. What's the fault with that? Come off like a dick. Okay. Now, again, it's okay to be straightforward, right? You like to be shot straight, I'm going to shoot you straight. Some people don't. <laughs> okay. Or it's how you approach it. All right. Um, if you tell him, hey, come up, I'm going to tell J Jimmy, dude, you suck at PT. All right. So, what are you going to tell him? If he sucks, if he falls out of a run, what are you going to tell him? Huh? Just, is that it? Okay, good. So at least follow through with that. All right. If you tell Jimmy that he sucks at PT, and he's like, well, I suck at PT. Why try? Life's hard. Don't try. Right? Main moral of the Psalms. Life's hard. Don't try. Um, if you pull him aside, like, dude, you suck on the run. What's going on? He tells you, well, I'm struggling in school or whatever. I'm not good at it. All right. Figure out what's going on. The point is you got to deal with people. This is a workforce. Okay, the core is a microcosm. You're in a lab. You're in a living laboratory right now of how to deal with people. Believe it or not. It's an excellent resource. Most of you just bitch and moan about it. Okay? You have nothing but an excellent resource of how to try to deal with this. So, what does Gabriel have to do when he comes up and tells Jimmy he sucks? Taylor? I was going to say, like, maybe, like, you should probably tell him, like, put it off for his buddies, I guess. That's what I was thinking. Like, because you're trying to be, like, empathetic and not just be, like, a straight up, like, yeah. 
Yeah, is that going to be hard for you? No? Okay, good. All right, so we can do it. Wes, can you do it? Can you be empathetic? No. <laughs> Why not? The world doesn't care. Okay. I mean, but that, I mean, but that's for real, right? Like, it doesn't, know. but do people care? Yeah. Sometimes. Maybe. Close <laughs> friends should, right? Yeah, no. Should I care. care about my, my buddies. I care about my friends. But like at the end of the day, when it comes to just like the day to day stuff, you know, if something doesn't get done, like last night we had a uh, training meeting because we like messed some stuff up that needed to be fixed or whatever. So our training officer came in and was like, you fucked up. Okay. Yeah. Like that's the way it is. Uh huh. So, Does everybody respond the same though? Why not? Different motivations for different people, and everybody was raised different. So one thing they could work with one person works the same way. You yeah. Eat fish every day. Yeah. Okay. I literally, just had a conversation with a buddy the other day. He's struggling with um, the vaccine mandates for employees, right? And he's got a guy who's been out sick with COVID five times. Now. Is the guy really out sick with COVID? In the world, we'll never know. Probably not. Same reason that some of y'all were like, oh, I have COVID again. Okay. Sure you do. Okay. Right. Now, first time, sure, benefit of the doubt. Second time, all right, maybe. Now we're talking about half to mandate vaccines, and the company can choose whether to do it or not right now because it's being hung up in the courts. Fair enough. Okay. So is it really about COVID? No. It's about whether or not that person wants to work or not. Are they motivated? Do they like their job? This is how it plays out. This is exactly how it plays out. Got to figure out how to deal with it. Now, if I know their personality types, do I want to be straightforward with them? Probably, right? If that's how they take info, fine. If Kennedy doesn't, do I, do I want to handle her the same way? If Stone doesn't, do I give him the same information? Probably not, right? How you handle it? What do you got? What were we going to say? You start to say something. Cut you off. Yeah. Now, <laughs> the ironic part is my buddy doesn't give a shit. He's just like you guys. He's like, no, I don't care. It's the rules. Like, just take the shot or we're going to fire you. And he gets to say, company's decision. Right? So you can handle it that way if you want, which is fine. Or you might say, dude, you got a family. You're not performing at work. What's the deal? Do you need to find another job? Can we help you? All right, there's a couple ways to go about it, okay? How are we going to fix them? How do we fix those guys? Or how do you work with them? The bulldozers? Or yeah, the, the bulldozers. Huh? <laughs> the bulldozers. Sometimes you can match them. Huh? Okay, so if you come at me and you tell me something and I push right back, you handle it okay? I'm just saying, like, I'm not saying, like, an I'm asking. I'm not saying, like, an argumentative perspective. Like, I'm, I'm yeah, no, I, yeah, we're being direct. Right. If you have a boss that's direct, then you can be direct. I'm asking you. If you come at me I and you're just guy. direct and I come right back at you and say, nope, this is the way it goes, how do you handle it? Okay. Okay. Okay, Gabriel, you're kind of laughing. What? But how do you handle it? Okay, great example. Is the standard always interpreted the same? No. Again, 
Welcome to life. Anybody think about law school? Maybe? No? <laughs> okay. Why? You ever, does anybody have a conversation with a lawyer? You ask them a question? What do they do, Kennedy? Why? It's not that they don't want to give you the answer. It's that they understand that the law can be interpreted different ways. The, it, we try to make it in text black and white. Here's the standard. Here's the law. All right? Is it that simple? No. Welcome to everything in the world and why it sucks. Okay? Um, because of how you interpret it. And the lawyers know that. It is literally how you want to interpret the law. Because you're going to interpret it one way, and I interpret it the other, so that it favors me and screws you. It's phenomenal. Okay, love talking to lawyers. It's so entertaining. Okay, um, good. Okay, uh, anything else? How else do we fix them? How do we work with them? Oh, lawyers! I think you need a wooden stick. A wooden stick. Uh, if you recall, if we have time here, I'll show you at the end. Um, you remember he talks about the guy. Has anybody seen the movie Alive? Nobody? Okay, well, at the end, I will blow your minds, okay? Alive is where the guy at the dinner party, they go to the dinner party and in the book, the author of the book, they go to the dinner party and it's all these fascinating people. One of them's name is Nando Parado. A rugby team is on a plane in the Andes and crashes, and um, it kills a bunch of them, but a bunch of them live for like 70 days in the Andes, frozen, snow, no food, okay? It's awful. That dude is at this dinner party. This guy has lived one of the most remarkable survival stories in all of human history. Okay? Him and two buddies hike out of the Andes. No compass, no climbing gear, right? nothing. Okay? And they, they figure out that they're not going to get rescued. Nobody thinks they're coming. Everybody thinks they're all dead. And he hikes his way out of the Andes with two buddies. They finally get to a town. They again go and rescue all those survivors. Okay, that are still alive. Took like 70 something days. Okay. That guy's at a dinner party. Right? Remember the me monster? Like the video? <laughs> and some dude is talking about his business and how remarkable he is. Okay. And that dude is just quietly sitting there going, Yeah, I'm 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 more remarkable than you. But he doesn't say that. Right? He doesn't come out and say that. Um, so the hard part, and this is for any of you any constraint, is being aware of others, right? especially where you are in life. You're young, you're trying to figure out your career, your school, take care of yourself, all this good stuff. Okay? That's natural. But you are in the throes of being about yourself, and it's really hard to be aware of others. Most of you are not very good at it, right? um, just statistically. Okay? You're not very good at it. That's OK. We're here to work on it and fix you guys. Okay? Not always a bad thing. None of these are always terrible. But you do need to be aware of them. Okay. What's a turtle? Don't like change. Resistant to change. Who's a turtle in here? Think about Kendall the whole time. Okay. You guys, how many else? Oh, raise your hands. Okay. <laughs> Just doesn't even want to. Okay. Why? What's wrong, Jimmy? Yeah, all changes are dumb, right? Most My turtles, changes are stupid. Are you a turtle, Declan? I'm like a little bit. You're on the spectrum? Yeah, I'm on the spectrum. <laughs> That's right. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, who else? Why don't you like change? Who else? Ryan? I'm not a turtle. I'm a core turtle. Like, I'm yeah. a core to change, but not a real turtle. Okay, who else? So huh? A lot of change can occur because someone wants to like, make the girl mad to like, make an impact. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it spills over. This is not, you guys think it's just the core, but this is you guys as a whole. No, but that's what I'm saying. It's like a lot of change occurs because someone just wants to, like, put their name on something or, like, make their mark or whatever. Sure. And in reality, nothing really needs to change. Is anybody thinking about commissioning? There's not very many in here. Is anybody thinking about military? <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Back me up. Tell me if I'm wrong. Okay. You've seen young officers, like a brand new lieutenant, and what do they come in and do? They think, I'm a young officer, 
I'm supposed to be in charge. We're going to make it my way. Does it matter? No, doesn't matter. <laughs> then you got old, crusty, enlisted guy. He's like, just shut up, okay, for like three years, and then maybe I'll salute you, okay? Maybe I'll listen to you, all right? This is true because you think you're supposed to come in and put your stamp on it. So Wes is correct, okay? Um, the higher operator, the further up you go in like special forces, Navy SEALs, things like that, the worse it is, okay? Because not only do you have high achievers, right, but you've got young officers who think they need to establish everything. They want to challenge senior leadership, and then you've got enlisted personnel as well who are not idiots. Some of them are, okay? But a lot of them have serious, you know, experiences, right? Um, and it gets super confrontational. Uh, you can read Marcus Luttrell's book, um, uh, Lone Survivor, okay? He had, the movie is terrible. Don't watch the movie. First of all, Mark Wahlberg's like 5'6". Okay? Marcus Luttrell's like 6'4". Um, Platform shoes. Yeah, before he even goes, right, and, and goes through all that, he has a commander that he just doesn't like. And he just is, um, undermines him every step of the way, okay? Then Luttrell gets put in charge, okay, like fire team, right? And he realizes what a complete asshole he's been. And Luttrell's kind of an asshole. Like, that's his nature, all right? Um, but he realizes that he, he was such a jerk to this commanding officer that it was, it's hard to be a commanding officer. So he switches gears completely and does everything that commanding officer tells him. Completely changes their relationship, helps his career. Um, okay, Turtle, Kendall, why? Why are you Turtle? What's wrong with you? That's true. I will take it. I'm just picking on you. What's wrong with being a Turtle? Yep. How many of you are in the court? How many get real thrown off when something pops up during the day? Grant, why? It just makes me angry. <laughs> it's last minute. You know, it's like you should have planned ahead. I mean, it's hypocritical because I'll sometimes do that. It's just, you know, it's when others do it to me, it's not right. But when I do it to others, it's kind of fine. Yeah. I have that mindset. But, like, uh, routine, like, helps me a lot grade-wise. And I like having a set nature. And so, I mean, if you give me a heads up, I don't mind. But I'll, like. Bingo. Yes. If I'm being forced to go do it. Okay. James, what do you got? Kind of the same thing. I get real thrown off. Like, a lot of times things tend to pop up right in nap time, you know, or in <laughs> homework time, which ends up being nap time. And, you know, that just kind of throws off my whole day. Okay. Declan, do you have something to say? Yeah, I'm kind of like on the fence. I think some change is, like, really good to keep things fresh. Okay. You have to prove it, okay? Yeah. So you're going to bemoan it. You're going to whine, okay? But if it's better, then you're good with it. I'm going to bitch and moan if it sucks compared to what we were doing prior. Okay, again, here's – now back me up, Kendall and the rest of you. You're resistant to it, just like Declan said, until you realize it's better. Yeah. Okay, or it's better for you or it helps you out or whatever, right? No, I don't want to do it. What do you got, Wes? It's the adoption of innovation, right? Is what you're talking about. The, was anybody in 4-H? You, okay. Do you know why did 4-H start? Folsom, do you know? Uh, the tomato club. Uh, corn. Oh. Yeah. You remember anything else? No. Uh, James, do you know? I knew it was corn. Yeah. <laughs> Liar. What, do you remember? <laughs> what, anybody else? Okay. We started 4-H, I think, 1930s, right? 20s or 30s, yeah? Because old farmers wouldn't adopt new technology. So they're like, meh, let's take it to kids. Why? <laughs> Somewhere in between there. If we taught it to kids, they would grow up 
learning how to do it. You'd be like, oh, this way is better. Old farmer's like, nope, still works, gonna do it my way, okay? Literally, once we impacted the youth, they were more willing to change as they came on. That's a long-term plan. Did it pay off? Absolutely, okay, absolutely. Uh, who's Dick Fosbury? He's in the book. Yep. First time a high jumper had ever done that in the Olympics. Gold medal. World record. Where do you go to school? Oregon State. God bless. Right? Um, and at first his coach was like, so how'd they do the high jump? They're trying to jump out like a hurdle. Okay? It's terrible and horribly embarrassing to watch now. What happened when he was doing this? Everybody, was just Everybody said he was a moron, he's going to get hurt, don't do it, it's not going to work. Okay? Then he goes to the Olympics, wins the gold medal. Okay? Even at Oregon State, his coach is like, nah, I don't think this is a good idea. Okay? You're going to get hurt, whatever. Okay? Then finally his coach is like, holy crap, you're beating everybody. So the number of people that accepted this as being a good idea doubled to two. Right. Then they go to the Olympics. Uh, the next Olympics, I think like uh, 13 of the 16 finalists were doing it this way. Right. Now it's everybody. Okay. Um, everybody thought he was crazy. Right. Is it the standard now? Yes. Yeah. Okay. This is hard. Right. So, how do we fix turtles? What do you got, Hannah? That's why we practice, right? Now you have mountains. We went to North Carolina and like they're really hills, they're not mountains. Are you better at it now than you used to be? Yes. Yeah. So it's a good thing, right? Um, same book, okay? Because of my career, family, and all that good stuff, I've moved. My wife hates change, okay? And we've moved. And every time we moved to a new state, she didn't want to go there. Did not want to go there. Then I'm like, okay, we got another, another opportunity. We're going here. I don't want to leave. I'm like, you didn't want to come here two years ago, Okay. Then we go somewhere else, and she's like, I don't like it at first, then likes it even more, and is like, I don't want to leave. Ooh, it's hard. With our kids who are 10 and 13 now, like, she wants, like, baby stuff still in the house. Like, we're not keeping this shit. Or I'll keep a little bit of it, and I'll put it in the attic, okay? But she wants it to stay the same. So I have to plant the seed. I'm like, we have a room that was like a toy room, like, for little kids, right, for a long time. I'm like, hey, really like to turn this into an office. No, we're going to do that. They still use it. All the toys, I'm not getting rid of it. <laughs> Months, 
Okay, it takes months of planting the seed and then doing a little bit at a time. So I have had to learn to adjust to that, okay? Because I'm like, all right, let's go. Let's get it done. I'm like, hey, it, they don't use it anymore. Figure it out, okay? It doesn't work, especially when you live together, okay? It's really hard. You have to figure out how to handle it, right? Um, good. How else? How else are we going to work with these people? How are we going to fix them? What do you guys <laughs> Mimi, I can't wait. What do you got, Jimmy? You can just stop coming up with stupid ideas. What do you mean? Like, uh... Mm. You're a turtle. Shut your mouth. Well, you don't yeah, get sick. No, but that's how you work with us. You just don't yeah, but you think every idea is stupid. That's the point. I think some of them are. I love good ideas. But you don't get to pick. That's the point. That is, that you is don't, No, you don't know. That is very... It is very tragic that I don't yeah, it is, because you don't, welcome to work, okay? People are going to tell you what to do, and you're going to be like, this is stupid. You still have to do it, or some of it, okay? You don't always get to pick, right? You just replace them with someone more open. Sure, you can. Cost time and energy. Um, but and he may be really good at his job, right? He might be. You, you just want to fire the guy who didn't show up to work, okay? Um, you have to figure that out. You can do that. If you do it too much, people want to work for you. If you keep firing people because they're resistant to change, do people want to work for you? If you keep firing people, are they going to want to work for you? No. No. Okay. Good. We have to. It takes a while to lead Ryan to the answer. He doesn't agree with it. Okay. That's the, still the point, though. You guys don't always get to pick, right? And you're not always in charge, and that sucks. And then what happens when you are in charge? Should you stay stagnant? No. True story. A friend of mine gets a job right out of school, wants to be a pharmaceutical rep. Okay? Goes to work for Johnson & Johnson. Good company, right? Innovative, 100 and something years old. Okay? He goes there, works for a few years, works his way up a little bit, and he hates it. Literally says, everybody just wants to make their 150 k a year and not do anything to innovate. How's that sound? Sound okay? Sounds awful. Sounds awful? His technology. Bingo, okay? You have to be willing to change, all right? 150 sounds pretty good to a lot of you right now, right? Okay? But even when things are going well, people desire change, right? Things are going shitty, you want things to change. Sometimes even when things are good, you get restless, okay? You've seen Talladega Nights? He's getting thrown out, all right? Even when things are good, sometimes it just doesn't settle well with you, okay? Um, We'll get into this next uh, semester with 381. There was just any psych majors in here? Okay, cool. Uh, tell me if you guys have heard about this. This is a great story. Not very long ago, 1998, okay? Take a room full of you guys. We're gonna do a study, okay? We're gonna put you in a room. On the screen, chocolate chip cookies. The room smells like chocolate chip cookies. Taylor's excited, okay? Now I got him in. Now we're good. Who's, who wants a cookie? Did you ever come home from school one day and your mom had made chocolate chip cookies? The house smells good? No, if this not happened to you, I will do this for you one day. It's the best feeling in the world, okay? Come home from school, smells like homemade chocolate chip cookies. Best thing in the world, okay? All right, so smells like cookies, see cookies. I'm going to feed you a snack, and then I'm going to give you a small task to do, a simple puzzle that you got to solve, okay? Snack I bring out, radishes. Ooh. Huh? Yeah, okay. Who likes radishes? You're on your own. Okay, you're on your own. By themselves, they're okay. A salad, you can cook with them, right? You like them by themselves? Okay, terrible people, right? Aren't they terrible people? Okay, then I'm going to give you a small task to do, okay? In the other room, okay, my other junior class that I like better than you guys, smells like cookies, see cookies, give them cookies. What? Now we don't like radishes so much anymore, right? I give them the task to do. How do my radishes people do on the task? Worse. Correct. But there were no expectations. You still got a free snack? There were. And why did they do worse on the task? Because they didn't want to complete it because they didn't get what they wanted. They did not get, they, they, got, they were let down, right? You wanted cookies, saw cookies, didn't get cookies, give up on the task quicker, okay? Those who got cookies worked harder longer. What does that tell you about willpower? It needs incentives. It is not unlimited. 
Willpower is a limited supply. People like to say your brains are like a computer. Your brain is a muscle. It has to be trained. It has to be exercised. Right? If I break down your willpower, the, this is, I've been to survival school in the Air Force, okay? It's the only time they're allowed to put their hands on you, okay? You start getting hungry, tired, things are not fun, right? Uh, your willpower is limited. You have to train it. You can't just tell people, hey, Jimmy sucks at running, run harder. We have to figure out why. Yeah. Or we have to figure out, <laughs> we got to figure out how to help him, okay? You can't just tell people, oh, work harder. You should be motivated. It's not that easy. Okay, willpower is limited. 381. We will unpack the shit out of that. It's awesome. I love 381. Okay, because we literally we change it up and we get into all that stuff. Did you take it last semester? Last spring. Okay. Um, okay. So, questions on turtles? Comments? Good on turtles. Okay. Um, volcanoes. What's the volcano? Aggressive and angry. Any volcanoes in here? <laughs> there usually are. Okay, what's wrong with you guys? Stone, what's your problem? Process everything inward, and then eventually someone just sets me off. Okay, so you take it in, kind of quiet, just builds up. Yeah, that's really healthy. Yeah. Good for you. Folsom? Uh, I like got a short fuse. Okay, why? Is it his outfit? Is it mean Folsom's outfit? Do you give people plenty of opportunities? I feel like I do. I'll tell you, I'll tell you this though. He and I went to high school together, and we had debate for like, what, three years together? Yeah. Yeah. I never saw you explode at anybody. Except for you, like, that one chick right there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, honey, wait, what happened to that one chick? <laughs> Why, why'd you explode? Can't even remember, right? Yeah, this is common. Who else? I got a couple. There were multiples. Why, Alicia? <laughs> so we're super nurturing until we're not. Is that what it is? Yeah, like sometimes, like we gotta be so nice and like be like super kind or whatever, and then like somebody will just like really try me, mm -hmm. and then I'm like, like I can't do this anymore. Okay. Kennedy? People don't tend to listen to me when I try and be nice, so the second I switch it, people kind of don't know how to act. Okay. Okay. Is this a, do you think it's a transition of trying to use legitimate power and then you think you have to do coercive power? How'd that go? Um, he's dumb. He's now dealing with someone like Wes. Okay, good. Is part of this a little bit of dealing with somebody like Gabriel and Wes? Do you guys get it when people are subtle? Do you? Right. Okay. This is this is a genuine challenge in the workforce. Not direct. Huh? Yeah, Ryan doesn't get it, does he? No, it, no, I don't. Until they just come up and they're like, hey, do X, Y, Z. Like, right. Just, it, never, it never. This is super common. Okay, super common. Wait till you guys get married. Okay. Passive aggressive is not a good way to be. All right. It, it is not good at resolving conflict. Okay. Some people are passive with trying to be hints and be polite. That's a difference. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I think we talked about this last time. Like, again. But if, if my wife is like, are those your socks on the floor? Yeah. Of course they're my damn socks, right? Like, just tell me to pick up my socks, okay? Dudes, in particular, are not good at picking this up. We are not very good at picking up subtlety, okay?
Okay. If you tell us, we'll do it. Right? Okay? <laughs> if I go tell Wes, Wes, I don't like you. How do you handle it? Cool. Yeah. He doesn't give a shit. We don't care. You know what guys think about all day long? Nothing. It's glorious. We are one of the most simple-minded creatures there is. Okay? Women, extremely complicated. Okay? The, you guys have 25 web browsers open running at once. Am I right? It's, we don't know. Okay? So sometimes when you guys snap, we're like, oh, what did we do? What happened? Why are they being like this? Oh, she's a transfer. No, it has nothing to do with that, okay? It's that we're too dumb to figure it out, okay? No, no, he straight up said it's because I was too big last semester. Okay, fair enough, right? And I think you guys compensate really hard. I think as upperclassmen, those who transferred in work significantly harder than those who don't. White belt apathy sets in almost immediately with juniors, okay? But those who transferred in, I, in my opinion, try a lot harder, and they continue to try all the way until they graduate. Take it how you want, okay? Um, good. So how do we work with these people? Don't be stupid? Yeah. Okay. All right. How do you fix them? How do you work with them? What do you got? Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. I don't know if you need the bulldozer there. I think that's where the nurture comes in. Well, it's good cop, bad cop. Can happen, yeah. Okay. Could be, yeah. I mean, it might get into who you're arguing with. Sure. At least somebody is going to, like, push back and not get rolled over. Right, yeah. Gabriel? Was it the, uh, is it the bulldozer that's the one that's very comfortable with uh, heated discussions? Usually, yeah. Okay, fair enough. The volcano difference is, however, they're going to explode, right? When you actually get really upset, not good, okay? For a number of reasons, all right? Um, one, if you're like stone, it's just been building up. So it's just, okay, I can take a little bit, I can take a little more, I can take a little more, and I lost my shit, okay, right? At that point, can I reason with stone? Can you do this? You ever, you ever think about a time when you're really mad, really pissed off, right? Pretty easy normally for most of us. If I ever come, if I come up, Angelina, you're really mad, okay? You're upset. Say, Angelina, relax. Calm down. In the, in the history of the world, has relax or calm down ever worked? No. No. And you'll still say it to your spouse, and you're like, oh, this this isn't gonna go well. Overreacting. Here's the thing, though. From the outside, can you see it? When I see Stone snap, can I see how he's acting? Yeah. Can he see how he's acting? Yeah. Hopefully, but probably not in the heat of the moment. Like, in the heat of the moment, you snap and it's too late. Reason's gone. Okay. Can we come back and revisit? Probably, but you need to cool off. Hannah, what do you got? Yeah. How many, of you, how many of you don't get really upset when you're mad? How many of you stay calm? That's some creepy shit. Is it weird? It's horrible, isn't it? Okay. You ever been mad at somebody? You're yelling at somebody and they're just like, okay. It's fine. You can be arguing with your spouse, partner, whatever one day, and they're going to be like, yeah, okay. Why don't you just um, go to sleep? Scariest shit ever, right? Okay, I was sleeping with a gun in my hand, okay? Stay away from me, crazy person, okay? That's some awesome shit, though. Did you ever do that to the fish? You've been hounding them, right? You, pound, you, ever, you ever be like the calm one? What's it do to them? Jacks them up, right? Okay, the spe who's, the, who's like typical yeller? You guys yell? You yell at them, okay? Did you ever get calm on them? Yes. How'd it go? Scared the hell out of them, okay? Okay, anybody got? Disarming, isn't it? 
Yeah, yeah, you think everything's good and then, oh my God, okay? Um, this is kind of the equivalent of, you ever screw up and your parent, you know you, you screwed up, okay, when you're younger and your parents are gonna come unglued? Did they ever do this? I'm not mad, Jimmy. I'm just disappointed. disappointed. How'd you feel, James? No, my dad never did that. <laughs> okay, how many of you had that happen and you were like, will you just yell at me, right? It's almost worse, right? You screwed up, okay? Mom just told you I'm disappointed. Damn it, okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's going to be bad, okay? You feel terrible. Uh, did we talk about Johnny Kim in here? Navy SEAL, Harvard Medical School, and he's at SEAL training? That's what they told him, okay? Just whispered in his ear, time to get wet and sandy. He said the most terrifying thing he'd ever heard in his life, okay? Just whispering in his ear, right? Um, yeah, that's what happens, okay? Um, to Anna's point, you're right. The patient person, the calm person, okay, you need them. All right, you need them. You either need to lean on them or they need to follow up and clean up after you, okay, if you lost your shit on people, all right. Um, sometimes, sometimes, yeah, it's okay. You might get your point across. Should not be standard, all right, um, should not be standard. Military, civilian, I don't care. Um, it doesn't matter, <laughs> yeah. okay. Um, good, okay, anything else? How are we gonna work with them? I think another thing you could do is um, whether you're like their leader or you're their subordinate or you're their peer, you can go to them and ask for like feedback on how you're doing. Because I feel like a lot of it comes from like that build up, like Stone was saying. Yeah. Like it'll piss people off when like they don't feel heard. Correct. So going to them for their feedback on how they think Good. you can be like a better person to work with, I think would help. Who, who's naturally quiet? Okay. Do you guys have shit to say? Oh, yeah, you. yeah, you do. Uh, who's naturally loud and talks a lot? Yeah, right. <laughs> Jimmy is? Okay. Yeah. Um, you got to listen to them because they're the observers. They're sitting back taking it all in. Well, you're running your mouth and talking and telling everybody how great you are, telling everybody how it's going to be. Okay, Alex is sitting back there going, mm, no, I don't think so. But if you don't ask them, they won't tell you, okay? You gotta come and add, you gotta make everybody part of it. If you're strong-willed, strong personality, that's fine. None of these things are horrible constraints, but you gotta be aware of them and how they impact the other people you work with, right? People don't feel valued if you don't listen to them, right? And most everybody knows something that you don't. Everybody knows something you don't. Always assume that. Every person you talk to knows something that you don't. Right, about something. Right? They've got they have value, they have input. Right? Uh, cool. If you want to stick around, I'll show you the trailer for Alive. Um